if you think that painting with only one color is boring, today's technique proves that it's not. There's actually a lot you can do with very little. Gather up all the markers, crayons, and pencils you have that are in the same color range. We can create a one color world. How about all the tones of the color red? Here's a picture of a vase with flowers of different shapes and sizes. First, work on the container with two tones of red. Through darker shading in some parts and lighter in others, try to give the object depth. Now give the vase some detail by adding other tones of red, like orange and pink. the design of the job. Line the stems with pink. Combine light tones on some flowers and then add more intense tones like orange. Pink stems? Red leaves? Of course, everything is possible in the art world. There are no rules here, especially when it comes to using colors. Colored pencils and crayons work very well together. The pencil allows us to work with the small spaces in detail, while the crayon will make that harder due to its white and rounded tip. The pencil is also good to outline figures for a better finish. Let's retrace the drawing that forms the stripes of the background in orange, like this. Finally, color the interior and shadow the edges. A picture with only one color in its different tones is called a monochromatic picture. The secret to this technique is combining different materials but staying within the same color range. Here, pencils and crayons are used, but you can also use paints. Here is a picture of a beautiful beach completely colored in green. And this is a picture of a wave, using only the tones of blue. Finding different ways to color can be very interesting. Now it's your turn. Try experimenting with different materials in the same color. Stay tuned for a safe for our next episode.